Speculation is one of the most annoying things on the planet. And as someone who has been heavily observed, judged, and then talked about, I just have a few things I want to say on the topic if you'll hear me out. We see someone frequent enough to pick up on a little bit of their ways and think, ah, I know them. A lover, a friend, a family member, a coworker, a peer. It helps you feel safe because you know what they're all about. But do you? Do you really know what I'm up to at 6 a.m. on a Sunday morning? Do you know the inner pulls that I get to express? And do you feel the weight of the things that I've experienced and have carried longer than I should have? Do you know why I left school or why I changed paths? Do you know my true feelings? Do you know where I go to find my own depth? Do you know my inner desires or reasons for them? Do you know why I do what I do? Or do you only know the little fragments that have been shown to you that you've only taken for face value and as a truth based on the illusion of one side of the story? That mindset stops you from really knowing someone, from really connecting and seeing them clearly for all that they are truly worthy and capable of. Being labeled off by others based on their projections and perceptions and not being given much actual thought on your own being or as your own person with your own intentions. Not being asked for your side or your feelings or your thoughts, but more so just becoming a role that was assigned to me. And now I'm not wiping my hands clear here. We all do it to a degree. But that's the difference I noticed between you and me. The amount of force you put into a role demands that the actual character must not be seen because it's too much for others to be authentic if you believe that it's wrong for you to be yourself. Yet I have chosen to show up as myself and yet people will still judge me without seeing me truly from where I'm coming from. It's annoying like I said but it's okay. It leads you to the decision that is the most empowering one. Just choosing to love yourself regardless. To fight for your dreams regardless. To advocate for your hopes, your desires, your passions regardless of what other people say, do, or think about them. Because if I really look back at those people that think they know me, they think that because they spent a few moments with me, around me, but barely talking to me and more so talking about me, making up their own conclusions and giving me only the depth that they have given themselves. But you know, it is pretty hard to perceive someone clearly if you're not trying to do that in the first place. And so I learned, why would I spend any moment of my precious time, my precious life, doing anything for you to understand or for you to see clearly if you're simply unwilling to do so? Why would I waste a second entertaining a conversation with an empty ear or hold myself back because I fear the judgment that will come anyways. I want to relate to you and the proof is in the pudding. This channel, the truth in my words, but yet the truth is I see you more than you're seeing me or that you're even seeing yourselves. Because how could you not give me grace if you gave it to yourself first? How could you not show me compassion if you knew what it did for your own heart and healing? Seeing yourself and others clearly is an act of self-love because illusions will never satisfy the part of you, a part that's within us all, that does wish to be seen clearly. And doing so by sorting people away may do you some good until there's nobody left, not even you, that fits the standards you're projecting out into the world. And if you truly got to know yourself and then maybe others, you would see that there's so much more that meets the eye, way more than what you can perceive with the thinking mind. The auras, the vibes, the ever-changing energy of a person. But how can I possibly inquire that you see me clearly for who I am when you're still lost searching for yourself. So you think you know me, huh? Why don't you just focus on you?